In today's video, in a very surprising twist, Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury are slated to enter the ring under some rather unconventional rules. The announcement of this unconventional matchup has generated a mixed reaction among fans. Conor McGregor continues to grab attention with his ever-changing image, and it seems like he can't even go two days without adopting a new look. Sean Strickland challenges Israel Adesanya for the middleweight title after a very impressive win. And finally, to wrap up the video on a more positive note, we have an incredible moment to share with you. Francis Ngannou is set to test his skills in the boxing ring against reigning WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury before the end of the year. However, it has been revealed that the fight will be an exhibition rather than a professional bout. You know what would be the craziest shit of all time? Hmm. The craziest shit of all time. If Tyson Fury says, I'm just going to take a couple years off and I'm going to learn MMA and I'm going to come back and I'm going to be the MMA heavyweight <laughs> champion of the world. I'm going to fuck everybody up. This announcement came from renowned boxing promoter Eddie Hearn during an interview with Boxing Social. Hearn expressed his belief that the exhibition fight will indeed take place and share some details about the format. According to him, the fight will not include knockdowns or other elements typically seen in professional boxing matches. The promoter of Tyson Fury, Frank Warren, indirectly confirmed this information and described Fury's next move as a game changer. However, he did remain cryptic about the specifics and did not confirm whether the fight would be against Ngannou. The news of this exhibition fight has received many mixed reactions from fans. The absence of knockdowns have left many fans unhappy with this development. Some are skeptical and believe that it is turning the MMA world into a circus, referencing other events such as fights involving Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. The concern is that such fights may undermine the integrity of both MMA and boxing as serious combat sports. Critics argue that it transforms the sport into a mere spectacle. They're going to fight in a cage. I have no idea why. They're going to go fight in a cage. Fine. They're going to wear four ounce gloves and they're going to have Mike Tyson as the referee. I mean, I, I put this out here, right? I started this whole thing by telling you what, what a beggar, how disappointed it is to see these boxers as beggars. Tyson comes to us with perhaps the dumbest idea in sports history, perhaps. They love you when I do this. Now, whether or not fans embrace this exhibition fight remains to be seen. It has certainly sparked discussions about the direction of combat sports and even raised questions about the line between entertainment and true athletic competition. Here is one more example. Without waiting for an answer from Piotr Jan, Marlon Vera has now challenged Hasbula Magomedov, the popular blogger who is also the official representative of the UFC saying, yo, I need a new opponent, let's fight. He posted on social media referring to Hezbollah. Well, fuck. Yes, I understand that this is all just a game, but it's no longer funny. So share your thoughts on this matter down in the comments below. And moving on, Conor McGregor continues to grab attention with his ever-changing image. Seems like he can't even go two days without adopting a new look. Previously on the last video, people compared him to the likes of Chuck Liddell and even a 70s porn star. But now who does he resemble? Share your thoughts down in the comments below. Moving on. Now Sean Strickland challenges Israel Adesanya for the middleweight title after a very impressive win. After the performance against Abbas Magomedov at UFC on ESPN 48 in Las Vegas, the seventh-ranked UFC middleweight Sean Strickland is confident that he has done enough to call out the defending champ Israel Adesanya. At a post-fight press conference, the fighter stated, it has to happen. He pointed at the organizers that were trying to put Magomedov against him in the hope that he could win. I'll tell you what, if you win this fight, when we fight, I knock you out, I'm gonna do a TikTok dance over your grave. Oh, fuck it. Look at this. Man on TikTok. However, Sean Strickland is confident in his abilities and added that every time the organizers try to introduce new blood into the division, he sends them home. He is confident that he deserves a chance at a title fight. Strickland has also expressed a desire to beat the winner of the upcoming fight between Robert Whittaker and Driscus Duplessis at UFC 290 in Las Vegas next week. He is confident that no matter the outcome of this fight, he deserves to be next in line for a title fight. 
He emphasized his determination and stated that he and his fans want this, so the organizers must make it a reality. With Sean Strickland's confidence and impressive past, his title fight claim is going strong, and fans are looking forward to the UFC's decision on this exciting fight. Strickland is one of the fighters who knows how to captivate an audience. Whether it's his outspoken nature, memorable press conferences, or his rather eccentric antics, Strickland does have a knack for attracting attention. Fans are always eager to see what it is that he will do next. I just want to say something, because this is where I'm out of the camera view. This is my first press conference. You guys are a bunch of vicious bastards. Man, here's the way you guys talk. I want to go down there and punch all you f***ers in the face. Jesus Christ, you guys are me. So this is Johnny. I met Johnny walking. I met Johnny walking. And he was showing me some cool shadow boxing shit. And I was like, bro, you should come train. He didn't think Johnny would show up, but Johnny showed up. Johnny might be on drugs. So Johnny. And finally, to wrap up the video on a more positive note, we have an incredible moment to share with you. Watch as Nur Sultan Ruzaboev reacts to a winning a staggering $50,000 bonus in his debut. Bonus. $50,000! <laughs> 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 The joy and excitement on his face are truly contagious. So let this be an inspiration to all aspiring fighters out there. Hard work and dedication can truly pay off. Keep chasing your dreams.